chances? Apparently, it's when someone engages in anal sex and some of it winds up on your lip. And like, like they call that a dirty Santa. That's not, like, I don't know why I'm talking about dark sexual shit with y'all, but I mean... It was just shock, st- shocking stuff that I learned, man. Like, it kind of fucked me up when I was a kid. You ever had those moments when you're a little kid and you discover something sexual and you're, you feel crazy? Yo, I'll never forget the first porno mag that I've ever read or gotten. I was in the seventh grade, right? My friend Christian. Christian? I'm not even going to say his last name. I remember his last name. He was one of my best friends, right? But I remember back in those days, it was like I was I, I, I was a good boy, you know? I've always been a really, really good boy in school and all that, you know? Hey, listen, man, I focused on my studies. But I remember one day he bought this damn magazine to class, right? And he was showing the pages to me. And as I was, a, I was, I was only in the seventh grade, and I was like, what is this? Like, what's that stuff coming out of him? And he was like, dude, you don't know? And I was like, no, what? What is it? And he's like... That's cum. And I'm just like, cum? And he and he's like, yeah, we, all men have that in you have it in you too. I'm like <gasps> I was shocked. I was horrified. I was mortified. I was like, why is that a thing? That's so disgusting. Like, why is that? I'm not and listen, man. This might be a little TMI for y'all. But as a young lad growing up, I discovered sex in the craziest way possible, man. And I even in, in class at one point, I thought that sex sex and intercourse were two separate things i thought you could have sex without intercourse it was, it was the, it's a long story i don't want to go too deep in the detail we're supposed to be playing seat tight but i mean damn I, I had some naive ass moments when i was a little kid man I, I wish i could fucking go back and change that man i must have looked like a goddamn dumbass fuck my life uh yo dude i didn't believe it at that time i didn't know about ejaculation i didn't know about orgasm and sperm and semen and all that so it was just like i read this imagine reading a book with no context and you see a dude shooting white lines on a woman's face (laughs) it was an eye opener and i'll never forget that shit man shout out to you christian that was a damn good man (laughs) he let me take that shit home i wasn't even masturbating that's how naive i was to it i just had the magazine i was just like wow this is crazy how are they doing this and i think like maybe two months after i masturbated for the first time it was the most ridiculous shit bro uh, i don't know why i'm sharing this with y'all it's a good, maybe 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 it's because i ain't got nothing better to do oh wait we do let's play some sleep tight all right let's fucking go uh we have bobo coming back in saying since you are talking about sex how old were you when you first found out where babies come from it was it was around the same time like i mean it was like I was 14 years old. A lot of that stuff was sort of like kept away because my mom, she was a good mom. You know, she, she was able to keep me away from all that perverted shit. But of course, going to a damn school where other young men are. Yeah, it was going to come out eventually, bro. And I remember it was around the same time when I started masturbating, when I started fucking um, watching porno, reading pornos, motherfucking looking up shit. And then it all came together. It was like a goddamn revelation. And next thing you know, it was like, boom, that's where babies come from. It was a fucking, listen, it happened eventually, bro. I think it happened relatively late for me. Maybe some of y'all niggas, you had to experience that shit earlier. Unfortunately, hey, look, I know if I ever have a child, if I ever have a son, an offspring, a little nigga, I am going to ensure that he knows about everything by like 16. 16 is a good age, you know? Although I feel like they would discover it themselves. Boy, you learned at 14. Yeah, okay, I'm a little bit of a late bloom, you know? That, that, that's just how it is, man. I've accepted the shit. You niggas need to do so too. I know that's late. I know that's late. I'm reading the card. Yeah, I know. But I mean, you were age 10? How do you find out about it at age 10? I mean, what? How, uh, Alex, be real with me. Oh, come yeah, on. Be real with you, like, what? 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 How old were you when you first discovered the birds and the bees and uh, all that other stuff? Like, when did you discover that that's how it really went down? 12, 13. 12, 13. Okay. Not, not like 14, like 12, you think? Like a young, you were like, Yeah, I was like, how old, how old are you in like 6th grade? I was, I was around that. 6th grade? I was in like the 7th, 8th grade. So like later. Like 14, school. almost 15. When I learned like, how? I don't, dude, it was. Really I mean, we're from different eras. Yeah. And, and I had more internet. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? the internet. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's think yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, all right, yeah. You know, I didn't have the internet back then. Right, we we did? Are, we are a different generation. 
Yeah, but it wasn't as advanced as like it is, you know, back. Well, at least when you, you were in know, that group. You want to know a confession right now? You guys what? want to know a confession? I want to know a confession. Is if we're getting all dirty and weird yeah, right let's now, get because I'm ice cream. Yo, Toe was good, by the way. Yeah, man. Let's hear the secrets, motherfucker. Yeah. No, um, when I was when I was young in middle school and I was discovering stuff, mm-hmm. I uh, mm-hmm. I used to browse for stuff on uh, on my Nintendo DS. <laughs> Really? What the, wait, there was a browser on that thing? The Nintendo DSi. It was like the first one to have a browser on it. It was so bad. Wow. So bad, dude. But I remember sitting there, low-key, Google Images, Megan Fox. <laughs> wow. Oh. With the stylus in one hand. With the stylus. And the stylus in the other Boy, hand. Boy, don't get out of my head. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, someone said everyone did that. Yo, everyone, that's what did, everyone that. did that. <laughs> Megan Fox, they say, yo, listen, man. Yo, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, bro. My mom used to get, like, these fashion magazines. She used to get these fashion magazines, and they'd be coming in through the mail, right? And it'd be like, oh, look at these new looks for the season. My dumb, young, horny ass used to get the fashion magazines and go through the pages to the swimsuit section. And I'd be like, ooh, <laughs> The JC Benny, this dude that used to be my shit. I'd be like, wow! <laughs> Please don't tell me that I was the only one that did that. I know y'all must have done that shit, bro. Please do be real with me. Same, yes, exactly. And across, thank you. Be real. I did that shit when I was young, bro. I was like looking through. I was like, oh, she, <laughs> God. Uh, some of y'all might still do that shit now, nigga. Hold on a second, bro. We have waifu in here saying, bro, the first time that I had sex, I forgot to take my do-rag off. <laughs> and we had a pregnancy scare. That was the scariest shit of my life. I hope you're having fun in Vegas, dog. Once again, another instance as to where those two sentences do not correlate to me. How in the fuck does a do-rag staying on during sex equate to you possibly getting somebody pregnant, okay? Listen, have you ever used your do-rag as a condom? No, so therefore, that shouldn't have anything to do with it. You transitioned like it did. Well, hopefully it didn't, man. Listen, I, I be sleeping with a do-rag, too. I fucked in a do-rag before. Yo, yo, as a matter of fact, one of the girls... Well, <laughs> I shouldn't say one of them. I mean, like, the, the times I've had sex before, they be like, oh, I like the do-rag. It's hot. <laughs> You're like a hood nigga. <laughs> you ever had sex with somebody? Have you ever... Had, though, imagine a dude, a black dude, having sex with somebody who's Caucasian, and she just being, yeah, fuck me, you dirty nigga. <laughs> it's like, god damn. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, that's okay if you find that, like, a turn-on, okay. Have you seen, I saw a meme like that, where it's like, yeah, fuck me, you, you, tell me. <laughs> like, excuse me? Whoa, I didn't expect things to get that serious. 